Welcome back to Heart of Kid Productions. It's been a minute, but as I always say, as long as you have the heart of a kid, you can enjoy everything and anything. Anyways, want to kind of talk about some more Lego snooze and Lego stuff, so here we go. Hey everybody, how y'all doing? So, I just wanted to talk about uh, my latest haul, and obviously there was that new uh, gift with purchase that came in. Actually two, maybe three, depending on if you got it from the Lego store or, or where you actually live. But I actually got mine through the Lego online. So I only got two gift with purchases. But obviously I wanted to make sure I got them. And I actually ended up buying an extra thing without even realizing it until after I paid. But without further ado, let's see what I got in this hole. So finally, I got myself another Lamborghini. Because I actually gave my son my Lamborghini that I had in box for Easter. So I was out of Lamborghini. So I was like, man... I was like, what am I going to get? When am I going to be able to replace it? Because it was sold out and I couldn't find it anywhere. And they finally got it back in stock at the Lego store. So now I got a Lamborghini. What else did I get? So we got one. I got another Lamborghini. It's funny because this is the second item that I got. But I got it without realizing that I actually added a second one to my order. So when I was doing my calculation because I had to... Canceled out multiple times because I was like, why am I not getting these gift with purchases popping up? Because I was hitting the $160 threshold, but they don't count tax. So if you actually do $160 even, it will not take without that one cent. It didn't work for me. So I was like, I, I canceled out and then I resubmitted and added. And I was like, why? So apparently I put two on this. So by the time I got to my over 160, it was like 179. So then I was like, okay, good, I'm past it. That's fine, 20 bucks more. Not realizing that I added a second one of these, which brought it to over $20. So the funny part is that I was like, after I checked my order, after I ended up paying for it, I realized, oh, I got two of these. But the funny thing was that I was planning to get an extra one because I'll probably sell it later in the future because these are pretty valuable investment-wise. But it also is the Lamborghini. So if I decide to not sell it, it's an amazing piece that I want and looks amazing. My son built it already. So anyways, so let's go ahead and move those out of the way. So we got two of those. Um, and what else did I get? So I hadn't picked this up yet, but it was the Harry Potter hospital. Yeah, what's it called? Um, the hospital wing. So I actually picked this one up and I wanted this. And the funny thing is I, I collect some Harry Potter. I have a couple Harry Potter things. But the biggest reason I got this, because I know a lot of the people were buying it because of this main character right here. But for me, <laughs> I got it because I wanted the beds. I wanted the cool little beds and this one little tile, which I know I could probably just order that specific piece and stuff like that. But also, given I like Harry Potter, I like the, uh, the beds. I like the little curtain over here, which looks really good. And also, um, I, I love these clocks. They're printed. They're beautiful. I have one from the Big ba uh, Big Big Ben set that has three or no four of them, and then also I got one from another set that has a clock. It might be another clock tower or something like that. But I have that one now. I have another one, so it's just good because if you want to mock something or do something else, you could utilize that for anything else. And then in here, it obviously has popcorn, different potion. It even has those wizard collectible cards. There's about two of them. But it has a lot of good pieces. So if I decide to part this out and not utilize it as in the picture or use the beds for a hospital and stuff like that, because I still need to get that new hospital wing. I got the old one. I wish I would have got a second one. But they have that new hospital that I want to get also. And that's about, a, I believe, $120. So plan on getting that one in the future for probably another you know, gift with purchase. If I need to spend some money, I was like, I know what to get because usually those are in stock. So, so that's another thing I get. And the one thing I got to push over the actual um price to make sure was dropping my stuff over here was the safari now this one right here is really cool because i wanted the elephant i obviously want to build a zoo one day um so i wanted the animals and i was going to get the one with the the mama and the baby elephant and a couple other animals but it would not go over the one uh, 160 at the time. And then I didn't realize I put two of the, the um, Lamborghinis in the cart, which was funny after the fact. 
But I was like, all right, well then I got to do this one. So if I would have took out one of those Lamborghinis and did the other one, it would have came up to like 170. So I would have been over it, but oh well, things happened. It worked out at the end of the day. And I got the, the big Papa elephant with a bunch of other animals, which I will use in a zoo in the future build mock that I decided to do. So I got this one because I was planning on getting it anyway. It was the more expensive one. So now I have the elephant, uh, I think uh, um, the tigers, no, no, I'm sorry, the lioness. So I got them and then an eagle that's actually up here. And this one's actually really cool. It has a bunch of little different things, trees, also like kind of a lookout, a bunch of monkeys. I already have a bunch of monkeys and then baby cubs as well. So that's really cool. You got like Simba and a, and a white Nala in there. So that's, that's pretty cool. And yeah, another one down. Oh yeah, yeah. So one right there. Really nice, really nice. And then you can use these pieces for all kinds of other things. So that's actually really cool. So I got that and I was like, all right, cool. You know what? I got that one. I need the other ones and um, I'll get those eventually as well. So, so yeah, that took me over the 160, like I said, 179 because I got the Lamborghini without realizing it. And before we jump into the gift with purchases, I just want to actually go back into the tall neck that I actually did a review on. Um, so like I said, I plan on getting a second one of these. These are still sold out. And it's amazing because I talked to my Lego store and when they received these, the day I got one, they literally, I think they got three to five, three to five, that was it. Uh, which I'm really surprised because this is an amazing piece. I mean, I love this set. I mean, it is beautiful to look at. And I've been playing my Horizon, uh, uh, or Horizon Forbidden West? No, not Forbidden West. I think that's the second one. Zero Dawn, the first one. And I've been playing that one. I finally got to see a tall neck, which makes this thing look like just a, a baby tall neck because the one in the, the show is, or the game is huge. I mean, the comparison, the body structure is 100% match in my opinion. It looks amazing. But yeah, if they did a one-to-one -one scale, well, not a one-to-one, -one, but like a one-four scale, this thing would be like, probably three times bigger. It is amazing. So I still love this piece. I plan on getting another one. Uh, I would have ordered another one with this haul just to get this, but they didn't have, um, they didn't have them. They weren't available. And even when I went to my Lego store, I have, um, returning, uh, one of my sets that, uh, I got an extra of that I don't need. And they were like, Oh yeah, well you can trade it in for store credit, which is a hundred bucks. So I was like, cool. Um, but I've been calling about the uh, Republic fighter tank. They've been sold out. I've been calling about the tall neck. They've been sold out. They're like, yeah, we don't know when we're going to get any. Like, And the other Lego store that I called, they they only got about five in as well. So they've been long gone. So I was just like, I was like, wow. But amazing piece. I need a second one. Obviously, like I said, I bought the elephant for the zoo and stuff like that. And then there's a friend set coming out with a cool giraffe. Not 100% accurate, but it still looks good. And I love that long sticker that's in the front. Um, it looks really good because I'm like, I need that sticker. I literally just need the sticker and I'll, I'll take that giraffe and the zebra that's in it. And then I'll part it out and use those pieces for whatever else, um, uh, for a zoo maybe or whatever. But I was like, all right, you know, I was like, at the end of the day, you get what you want from parts and then utilize the other pieces for mocks or whatever. Um, and also, you know, I like to buy full sets so I can have those things instead of ordering certain parts every once in a while, unless I'm doing a complete mock build like I did with my chessboard. But uh, this set, I definitely want to get a second one and it just looks so good. So I uh, just wanted to point that out. Again, I'm just, I'm in love with this set. I When I did the review on this, I know I kind of was maybe over the top, but to me it wasn't over the top because this is probably one of my favorite sets I've ever built. So anyways, Let's go ahead and move that out of the way and get down to it. So we got two gift with purchases. We got this little thing, which is cool because it's the children's amusement park. It comes with, you know, a nice little just entryway. Well, not entryway. It's like a little banana rocking boat type thing, which is really cool. And then it comes with a, a ducky ring toss and a couple mini minifigures, a brother and a sister. And then uh, one of those... Uh, was it uh, mallet games where you got to hit it as hard as you can to get it as high as you can. So it's really cool and it's free. I mean, this is probably like a 10. Well, with inflation, this is probably like 15, $20 set uh, right here. I know it's only a few pieces, 170, but the way everything's going up, it's just, you know, it's worth a lot more. But again, uh, I have the roller coaster set and I have a lot of amusement park stuff and I will definitely utilize this for a section in my little uh, Disney World section which I plan to build one day in the future so so that'll be really cool and then obviously you guys saw my uh, bumper cars review if you haven't seen it go back because I did a 
uh, mock uh, bumper cars, Batman bumper card ride, and I thought it looked really good. I actually added an exit. Um, I didn't need to do another video, but um, obviously I have the entryway, but I was like, how are these guys going to get out of here? Because everybody's in line. If they want to exit, then they're going to have to go back through the line and get past everybody because it's all gated up. So I actually added where, if you watch that video, on the sides, there's Harley Quinn's on one end and Harley Quinn on the other end, and then there's a Harley Quinn in the back middle. But what I did was I added uh, stairs on the left side and the right side. So basically, the Harley Quinn's that are standing there are guest employees, and when the ride's over, they just like open and say, okay, here, here's the exit on this side, so you can either exit either side. So I thought that was actually a good idea because when I've done bumper cars, there's always a separate exit for everybody else. So, but this is a, yeah, this is a cool little piece. I love it. It works out. It'll be utilized for my theme park in the future. So I was like, it'll just stay in my closet with all my other Legos that I have not opened. And again, I just, there's Legos that I want to build one day and open and kind of do reviews on, but also, you know, I'm getting older. There's things, especially like my Millennium Falcon. I want to build that one day. I want to make sure I build that before my son, you know, I kind of kick up, kick the bucket and he's like, oh, well, I'll build this for dad. But I, I bought it because I want to see it fully built. I've seen it in person, but to actually have that build and actually get a feel of something, you know. So, like I said, as I uh, get older and progress and build uh, my Lego city, there's things I want to use different things like that Millennium Falcon for my Galaxy's Edge and my theme park, which, you know, I'll have this in there too. So, cool. All right, and the last one, the one that I really spent this money for was, obviously, the cardboard. Like, us as kids, we all played with cardboard. I'm sure kids nowadays are playing with cardboard. My three-year-old gets a box and literally just dives into the box. And I don't know what he's thinking, you know, just like we weren't, but... He's three-year-old, and he plays in a little box. Just sits in there and rolls around in it, and it's amazing until it falls apart. But this actually looks really good. I really like this. I love that on here he has, not only does he have his, his shuttle that he built out of, uh, out of cardboard, it's really done well. Because obviously, when I was growing up and we did something like this, you definitely drew on the cardboard. Like, put different things and signs on the side or whatever, and, you know, you named it to... You know, my spaceship, you know, Steve's spaceship. That's what it was, you know. And my brother would come and destroy it because he was littler than me, apparently six years younger. So he would come over and destroy whatever I built. But but I also love that it has the teddy bear right here. And my grandmother gave me a teddy bear. And mine was actually white with uh, pajamas. But I never built like a mech, but he was in the spaceship with me, which was really cool. And then this one comes with a cat. And I've already seen that you can actually put the cat in the spaceship too, so that's cool. I'm not a big cat lover, not a big deal. I'm, a, I'm a more of a dog guy, so uh, I had multiple dogs growing up, so he definitely would be uh, jumping in, in my spaceship. But I love how he's got a little mech for the teddy bear. Like, we're going exploring, and here's your mech, and you got your little weapon right there to protect you. So that's really cool. And then I love that right in here they have the... Uh, the uh, little army figures. Obviously, I was in the Air Force, but it's cool to get those little uh, miniature guys with uh, with green. And then, um, yeah, I think there's, yeah. And in the back, there's the stars on the wall. My room wasn't this colorful. I definitely had just white walls, nothing really on them, but it was really cool. And then he has the little rocket right there with the window. So this is cool because you can make this a little modular room. You could build this up and make an actual bedroom for this guy. And then, you know, expand it and build a house or whatever but but i thought this was really cool it's really nice i mean adventures cosmic cardboard adventures i mean straight up 203 pieces looks really good somebody's idea who obviously went and thought like oh this will appeal to everybody because obviously i'm 42 and yeah when you grow up and you know you just imagine and make things and enjoy with whatever you got, you know, like I said, my, my parents worked really hard for what they had. Uh, we didn't have a lot growing up, but you know, we were happy with everything. Like my kid right now, he, he just had a birthday and we spent a buttload of money on him. He is so lucky because the things we got for him, there's no way my parents could afford that. And you know, at the same time, I tell him like, you know, we're giving you a lot, but you need to appreciate it and understand that, you know, this is a gift and it needs to be taken care of and respected and know that, not everybody gets this. I didn't get this. At the end of the day, you know, I was happy with the cardboard box. I was happy with the things that I got. I was happy with the three little Lego sets that I have, you know, and 
they were small little sets. And in my entire 18, 19 years of life before I joined the service, I actually had probably about, I'd say eight, eight to 10 small Lego sets. And, you know, I, I loved them. I wanted like the pirate ship. I wanted uh, the spaceships. I wanted the castles. I wanted the big sets. Couldn't afford it. And that's okay. I wasn't upset about it. I was just like, oh. So I got a little pirate boat, a small little, like, uh, I don't know what's called, the little, the little itty bitty boat, the little red boat. Um, that's what I got. I got a little, like, uh, racer boat, small little racer boat. I got a little car with a trailer that carried a motorcycle, you know. But those were, like, my favorite Legos. And, you know, at the end of the day, I'm like, I was happy because I had those. And, you know, it was fortunate that I appreciated that because my mom worked three jobs. And at the end of the day, she was able to get me these little things and put a roof over my head at the end of the day. That was the most important thing. She put food on the table, you know, roof over our head. With my dad, who obviously wasn't working at the time because he got injured, but my mom worked and saved and scraped to get us what she could afford. And we appreciate it. So, you know, I worked my myself for 22 years in the service to get myself what I want now so I can afford just like I tell my son I was like hey we're able to get you a lot of these things but when you get older you know you're gonna have to work you're gonna have to do stuff and you know he's already like oh I want to build a Lego city I want to have a room where I can have this and that and this and I was like all right you can do that look at me I got my uh, huge closet with tons of Legos and I'm still building things every day and buying different sets every month uh, and, you know, my wife allows it, which is great. But anyways, sorry to get on that rant. You know, I do talk a lot, um, but I talk about life. I talk about things, things that we all need to think about and stuff that's passionate. And obviously, this is a reflection of us as a kid, especially the older generation, because this is how we used to have fun. We weren't in our rooms playing video games all day long, uh, unless you had a Nintendo, which I had friends that had a Nintendo. But we, they, we still went out and had a good time. But also, like this, this is literally, we built clubhouses. I had clubhouses, you know, in the trees, in the forest, out, out in the backyard. You know, it was amazing. And these were our cardboards in our room. You know, we built little tents, little, little forts inside. It was awesome. And, I mean, I'm sure Lego made enough money back on this because people were like, I want this. And literally at 10 o'clock at night, because I live on the West Coast, uh, I was able to order this. And I was like, oh, let me get on it. So I don't have to stay up till midnight because apparently I could order at 10. So I got it on it so I can make sure to get it. I would have loved to have extras of these uh, because you could do so much more with what you have. Like I said, build an actual bedroom uh, for the kid. Because you get four of these, you build four walls. Awesome. And then fill it in. But you can order those pieces and make it what you want. Anyways, I just wanted to talk about uh, this Lego haul and things that I enjoy. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. Did you guys pick this one up? Was this a highlight that you guys needed to get? Um, again, sorry for going off on a rant. But, you know, when you love Lego, you love life. And, and you appreciate what you have and where you're at now. You know, just enjoy everything and anything. And again, I'm 42. Like I said, that I'm a kid at heart. I am a kid at heart. You know, just... It's just the way it's been, you know, as long as you have the heart of a kid, that's all that matters and you can enjoy everything and anything. Well, it was great talking to you guys and we will see you next time. And sorry for not uploading uh, more recently, but kind of been busy with life. So, all right.